Oh, yeah, you must be talking about that thing with, um, who was it again? Oh, yeah, Epsilon. Yeah, I have a pretty bad memory when it comes to meeting new people, but, um, yeah, let me do you another favor and introduce you to some people around the canyon that you might run into. Um, just to remember that I don't actually know most of these people. I just, um, am an observer of worlds. This is Caboose. He's a fellow rookie, and, um, he's not very bright. This is the Alpha, the original rendition of this area's church. Um, he's kind of a jerk. And he's also the leader, except when Tucker doesn't want him to be. This is Epsilon. He looks like the Alpha, except he isn't, except he kind of is. Trust me, it'll make sense once you get to know them. This is Tucker, the hopeless flirt. This is Freelancer Agent Texas. She's a memory for of some sort of the original church's girlfriend, apparently. I, I really don't understand her nature of like, her existence exactly, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Now that we're invisible, I'll show you the Reds. First up is the leader of the Red Team, Sarge. Probably the highest ranked guy in all of the canyon because Everyone else is private. Well, aside from the freelancers, of course. They obviously hold the highest rank. Sarge is also not very bright, but he is definitely much smarter than Caboose is. This guy in the maroon armor is Simmons, Sarge's right-hand sycophant. This guy in the orangish yellowish armor is professional slacker, Griff. And this guy in the brown armor, that's Lopez. He speaks poorly translated Spanish. Now for the vehicles of the canyon, at least the two more important ones. This is the MOA-8 uh, primary battle tank. She's known as Phyllis. That's what she calls herself. Although she got renamed to a Sheila because of some sort of timey-wimey incident. It involves Wyoming, it makes sense. And this is the Chupa thingy. Um, the Reds were kind of arguing as to what it looks like, and one of them said that it looks like a puma, and the other said it looks like a warthog, and then two of them didn't believe that pumas existed for some reason, so Sarge kind of taunted him and said it kind of looks like a chupacabra, so... Sarge so didn't know how to pronounce Chupacabra, so they called it the Chupa thingy. Now let's look at some other people that you might meet around the canyon because of the whole multiverse thing. This is Private Donut. He used to be on the red team. I'm not really sure what happened to this guy. This is Griff's sister. She's just called Sister, but her actual name is Kalinka Griff. She was on the blue team, so Lopez killed her. Yeah. This is, um, Doc Dufresne, or Doc, but don't let his nickname confuse you, because he's really not a doctor, he's a medic. And he's a really bad one at that. And this is a freelancer agent, Wyoming. He does the time travel stuff with his AI friend. I mean, um, Gamma. I, I don't really know exactly what exactly happened to us all the time travel stuff. I just know that he and Gamma were involved, so it makes more sense. This is Freelancer Agent Connecticut, or CT for short. She's also dead. This is Freelancer Agent Carolina. She got betrayed by the director, and now she's trying to get Epsilon to get help her with revenge or something like that. I don't know all the details just yet, but as I keep observing their prime world, I should be able to figure it out. Yeah, that's um pretty much everyone that comes to mind at the moment. 
There are a bunch of other AI fragments and other freelancers that I didn't mention because I didn't think of them at the time. But So, when Epsilon said he pitied you, trust me when I say I feel the same way. And this guy in the yellow-orange armor, it's not yellow or orange, by the way, it's yellow-orange. This is professional, um, lazy guy, Griff. 